How about it, y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson and Maddie with Nicholson Farms. I'm a little late to the party. We're just now starting the video, but Maddie's been taking several clips throughout the day. Um, we got another goat in labor, so y'all um, check out those clips real quick, and then we'll catch up with you where we're at now. This big nanny over here has been kind of off by herself for the last couple of days, and I just walked up here to check on her, and she's definitely going into labor. She's trying to push and she's got some stuff coming out so we're gonna see what we can't capture here and how many babies she ends up having called Daniel he's gonna go get some feed to get all these other goats out of her way but here she is I came and checked on her earlier this morning and she was off by herself yeah she's definitely going into labor so we'll see just started pushing Daniel brought feed out for the other goats to get them away from her. Now she's trucking along the pasture. I wish she'd just go back in that barn. We'll see. She just laid down and started pushing. Looks like she's going up to that barn. She came up here in this barn and she's just kind of pacing around and being acting uncomfortable right now. I'm trying not to stress her out too much. I don't think she likes it that I'm up here. So as you can see, Maddie's been following this mama around for, what, the past two hours now? Yeah. Trying to get this on camera, but if you can hear that, we got a baby on the ground. I was standing off from the distance just because this mama's been real uncomfortable with us being around. And I wanted, we wanted to capture it on camera, but it was to the point where we are stressing her out. So we just backed off, and whenever I saw her lay down to start actively pushing, we came up here and... She already has one on the ground. So we're gonna hang back and see if she has another one real quick and then we'll, we'll see what this little guy is. Whether it's a girl or a boy. But as small as that baby is and as big as she is, I'd be very shocked if she doesn't have another one. I believe she's about to start pushing on another one.
I'll set the camera up and stand back. Hope, hopefully get her on camera. If not, I know we're kind of stressing this mama out to be standing here. So that's two. I know the first one is a little boy. It's starting to get where it's standing up. We're gonna leave mama alone for a second. Stand off. Uh, she's she's big enough. She could have three, uh, but uh, it's not very likely. I don't think. We'll kind of we'll set the camera up anyways. See if we can catch these guys trying to stand up. But you know, if she pu pushes out another one, that'd be great. But we're happy with two healthy babies. If that's what all she has. So we'll just watch her and see what she does. So I don't know if you saw it, but we did have three. Uh, this little guy right here is a whole lot smaller. He's looking a little weaker. These two over here are a lot bigger. They're, they're moving around a whole lot more. So we're gonna see if we can get this little guy up and get him nursing, give him some strength. And then we're gonna get some straw out here. I got some vitamin E and selenium to give these guys, especially that one right there could probably use it. So we're gonna get them up and get them nursing. So I'm gonna set the camera back up and see if we can't get them nursing. Maddie's holding up the weaker guy just to kind of make sure he's getting some colostrum. He's been sucking. I think he's getting some. We kind of dried him off a little bit. We're about to, I think, pin mom up with a tighter little spot just because we've got three of these guys. She might get confused. Pin mom. Alright, so just a little bit of an update. Um, that little guy, he's not doing well. He, he won't, he'll stand up, but he just doesn't have any energy. He doesn't really have a, a suck reflex. I just checked his temperature, and he's at 92 degrees. So Maddie's running him home to start the hot bath. Uh, these two little ones, they're doing good. I know both of them suck. They're big babies, so I feel like Mama's going to take care of them. Mama was taking care of the other one. He's just, he's just a whole lot smaller and i think he got worn out trying to um, fight off these other ones and it was it was kind of a long labor as well so we're gonna 
I'm gonna grab a couple other things from here at the farm. I'm gonna get up to the house and we'll help Maddie out. She, she's going to start that hot bath now. Uh, so we'll get up there and we'll see if we can't uh, revive this baby. He's not too far gone, I don't think. Like I said, his temperature was 91, 92. So I think he's got a chance. We just got to get him warmed up and we got to get him eating. Uh, being that he's a triplet, I don't know if we're going to be able to put him back on mom. I don't know if I feel comfortable enough to do that. We'll just kind of have to see how he is, how much of a fight he is, I mean has, and uh, if this mom will actually take him back anyways. He might end up being a bottle, bottle baby, but we got to get him through the night first. So we're going to run down here to the barn and I'm going to grab some couple things and we're going to get up to the house and try to save this baby. So we had to take this one home with us today too. Um, when I got here, I put him in a trash bag and put him in a bath of warm water in the sink. Um, he started trying to suck a little bit. His temperature, I think, was at like 91 whenever we brought him home. It's at, what is it at now? 100.5. Um, so now we have him in this little homemade incubator with my hair dryer and a trash bag just getting his temperature up um he'll try to suck for a little bit but it's pretty weak so we'll see if we can't get him a little warmer and get eaten your typical range is 101.5 to 103.5 he so disappeared I, once we yeah take a boo <laughs> but once we get him to about 101 he should start he should start sucking pretty good. And once he gets that colostrum in him, that warm colostrum, it'll help him regulate his body temperature. So we're just gonna keep heating him up till we hit that, and we're gonna try to feed him again. And we're just gonna hope for the best for this little guy. We'll keep you updated. He's getting a little more fight in him. He definitely has a weak suck, but he's trying. There you go. I'm sticking my finger in his mouth and rubbing the roof of his mouth because that makes their suck reflex. At least in humans, that's what I have to do with my babies. But it seems to be working for him. So a little update, uh, this is our Super Bowl night, I guess, Super Bowl Sunday. We're finally getting little man to eat some. He's maintaining his temperature all right. Um, we'll keep working with him. And we'll probably just give you an update tomorrow, see how he's doing. And uh, I think Matt, the plan is that we're gonna feed him every couple hours throughout the night and then Maddie has to go to work a little later tomorrow, so she's going to try to to put him back on Mama. We'll see how that goes. If not, she'll we'll um, figure something out. We'll keep bottle feeding him tomorrow, and maybe tomorrow afternoon we can get him back on Mama. But we're going to sign off for tonight. We'll see y'all in tomorrow. So it'll just be a second for y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day now. I don't know if Maddie's been recording or not. I haven't checked with her, but uh, Maddie brought the little boy back over here to the farm about uh, one o'clock today. Put him with mom. Mama's licking him and trying to take care of him. But uh, I just came up here and held mama down and, and letting um, baby nurse in this little hut. He's over here trying to fight. Look how much smaller he is than these other two. These two right here with the darker head, 
they're absolutely massive to him. I mean, compared to him, and he's actually a, I consider a regular size baby. But um, we're just gonna have to watch him. Sorry, the sun in my eye real bad. We're just gonna have to watch him and make sure he's not getting bullied off the teat and make sure he's getting his share of milk. She has a huge milk sack and she's a, she's a good mom. So I don't, I don't feel like she's gonna have any problem uh, raising three babies. It's just, he's so small and I don't want him to get bullied off. Right now the two bigger ones are, they're nursing and, and he's kind of standing to the side. So we're just gonna have to watch that and monitor it. If he starts to go downhill, we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to pull him off and he might be a bottle baby. But right now it's looking good for this guy. Right now, uh, yesterday it wasn't looking too hot. So I think, I think he's gonna be okay. Like I said, we just gotta watch him. Uh, this is the first set of triplets we've had on the farm that I can remember. Um, I had a set of quadruplets whenever I was young. But this is the first set of triplets in a while. Uh, I guess that maybe that means I'm doing my right thing with my, my mineral and my protein supplement and, and just the, the nannies I pick out to breed. So it's good to see that we actually have them triplets. We'll make sure this one, uh, he's, he's gonna make it through whether he's a, a, a bottle baby or not. But I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I know it's kind of split up all throughout uh, yesterday and, and today, but uh, this guy's come a long way. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took something from it. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you haven't already and you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you can keep up with this little guy as, on, as he grows and all, everything else we got going on at the farm. I really appreciate it, guys, and we'll see y'all on the next one.